But I know you're in North Carolina now helping to get out the vote. But aren't you embarrassed by the blatant attempts to register phony voters by ACORN, an organization that Barack Obama has been tied to in the past? I am not embarrassed by it. We are not tied to it. We've not paid them one single penny to register a single solitary voter. We have the best get out the vote operation in modern American history. We've registered the voters ourselves, and so there is no relationship. I'm embarrassed for anybody in ACORN who went out there and registered somebody who shouldn't be registered, but I'm not embarrassed because of our campaign. We haven't paid ACORN a single penny to register a single voter. But in, the past the Senator, but in the past, Senator Obama was a community organizer for ACORN. He was an attorney for ACORN. <laughs> and certainly in the Senate, he has been a benefactor for ACORN. How has he been a benefactor for ACORN? He was this organizer. John McCain stood before ACORN not long ago, complimenting him on the great work they did. Does that make John McCain complicitous in any mistake ACORN made? Come on, let's get real here. Okay, moving on to the next question. Senator Obama now famously told Joe the plumber he wanted to spread his wealth around. A Gallup poll showed 84% of Americans prefer government focus on improving economic conditions and creating more jobs in the U.S. as opposed to taking steps to distribute wealth. Isn't Senator Obama's comment a potentially crushing political blunder? Absolutely not. What the only person who spread the wealth around has been George Bush and John McCain's tax policy. They have devastated the middle class. We, for the first time since the late 20s, 1% of the American people make over 21% of all the income in America. That wasn't the way before George Bush became president. All we want is the middle class to once again have a fighting chance. That's why we focus all of our efforts on restoring the middle class and giving them a tax break. And John McCain doubles down on Bush's tax cut and adds $300 billion in new tax cuts to the largest corporations in America and the wealthiest Americans. We don't think that's the way to do it. We think give the middle class a break. That's the way to do it. You may recognize this famous quote, from each according to his abilities, to each according to his needs. That's from Karl Marx. How is Senator Obama not being a Marxist if he intends to spread the wealth around? Are you joking? Is this a joke? No. Or is that a real question? That's a question. <laughs> he is not spreading the wealth around. He's talking about giving the middle class an opportunity to get back the tax breaks they used to have. What has happened? Just this year, people making $1.4 million average, the top 1%, good, decent American people, are going to get a new $87 billion tax cut, a new one on top of last year. We think the people should be getting that tax break or not continue to redistribute the wealth up. We think middle class taxpayers should get a tax break. That's what we think. It's a ridiculous comparison with all due respect. Now, you recently said, mark my words, it'll not be six months before the world tests Barack Obama. But what worries many people is your caveat, asking them to stand with him because it's not going to be apparent initially that he's right. Are you forewarning Americans that nothing will be done and that America's days as the world's leading power are over? No, I'm not at all. I don't know who's writing your questions, but let me make it clear to you. The fact of the matter is that Everyone has acknowledged from Colin Powell on that the next president of the United States is going to be tested, whether it's John McCain and or, or it's Barack Obama. The reason is our weakened position in the world. We're stretched thin throughout the world. Our economy's in free fall right now, and they're going to be tested. Every president is tested. And the point I was making is Barack Obama is much better prepared to handle whatever crisis it's going to be than John McCain because John was wrong in Iraq, saying we'd be greeted as liberators, we'd be out of there, wrong in Afghanistan saying we've already succeeded, wrong in North Korea and saying the president shouldn't negotiate. Barack Obama's been right. John McCain's been wrong. That was my point. Barack Obama is more ready than John McCain. Getting back to the spreading the wealth question, what do you say to the people who are concerned that Barack Obama will want to turn America into a socialist country much like Sweden? I don't know anybody who thinks that except the far right wing of the Republican Party. Okay, Senator Biden, thank you very much.